just for the fun of it, I decided I would attempt a meme add-on win streak, where I try to win multiple killer games in a row using meme add-ons. So what are the rules of this win streak? 0 or 1 kills is a loss, 2 is a tie, and 3 or 4 kills is a win. If I get a tie, then the win streak does not disappear, but obviously I don't get a win added either. I have to use one of the meme add-ons, which in my opinion is any add-on that gives you blood points. I can use another add-on, which I always will, and I can use any perks. However, I cannot use any game-changing offering like a map. Blood point offerings are fine. Now this is one of my favorite builds to run. I call this the Party Porn Ninja Clown. Both of the add-ons for this video are incredibly powerful. The first add-on, the Party Bottles, they make it so that when you get a direct hit on a survivor with one of your bottles, it sprays confetti. The VHS Porn also has a very strong effect. It makes the yellow bottles purple, and the purple bottles yellow. So you've got party bottles and VHS porn, so that's where the party porn comes from. And he also throws the bottles which release like a gas, so that kind of looks like smoke. So therefore that's why this build is the party porn ninja clown. Now ninjas are stealthy, so obviously we've got to bring a bunch of stealth perks. So the first one is Tinkerer. Whenever a generator hits 70% for the first time, we'll get 16 seconds of undetectable. It also lets you know which gen hits 70%, so you can go to the generator that's almost complete and sneak up and hopefully stop the gen from being completed. Hex plaything makes it so that whenever a survivor is hooked for the first time, a dull totem will turn into a hex totem, and until they cleanse that hex totem, then they will be oblivious. Dark Devotion makes it so that whenever I hit my obsession, the obsession will have a heartbeat and I will not. This effect lasts for 30 seconds, so that's a fairly significant amount of time. Lots of time for sneaky sneaks. Trail of Torment makes it so that whenever I kick a gen, I become undetectable until either I hit a survivor or a survivor touches the gen. This also has a cooldown and the generator is highlighted in yellow, so there are some drawbacks. To the survivors just bring luck this time. As I head over towards the Tinkerer, I find this Jeff who has the best hype ever. The Jeff is the obsession too, so Dark Devotion activates. As this gen pops, I realize that they're probably going to drop down, so I decide to make use of Dark Devotion. And we get some more Dark Devotion. I love when the survivors acting at least slow bolt into you. It just looks really fun. Like, ah, there's a man with a knife on the other side of this pallet. Should I keep going over? Probably. close to those survivors who are healing because of Trail of Torment, plus the cave has got a thing as well. And there goes God Pallet. I threw a bottle there because I thought he was going to loot me, but no, he wants to be altruistic.
this point I swore that I was gonna fall for the David Steadhart for the rest of the game. survivors go over pallet seem to be really inconsistent in this game. Now that looks like a really good prediction, but it was a fluke. Screw your dead heart. Kate hasn't closed her plaything, so I can get really close. really good in chases. I think the stuff gets to him a little bit though. <laughs> Big misplay by Jeff. I know I had a trail of torment up, but he should have been able to hear me open the locker. The audio bugs are here. But I think you can imagine my fear as I heard footsteps running behind me. But in the words of one of the streamer's viewers, he just wasn't that guy with the flashlight. But I think the game is in our hands anyway. Why, hello there! Judging by those speed bottles, clearly I am not a clown main. I think this has been the easiest game so far. There was never really a point where I was worried about losing this one. I watched the Vittorio's VOD as well. He and Kate were bamboozled by this build. They only figured out one of my perks. Lightborn. The change in bottle colour confused them too, 
And I think the confetti made them think for a very short amount of time that I had pinky finger as well. <laughs>